and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I've finished my gorilla painting from Victoria's Moon. So I thought I'd show you um, what it looks like. So it is quite a tall one, so it does go down a bit further. Um, if I turn, oh, I've got things falling off my shelf. If I turn it this way, you can see all of it. Though, of course, you have to tilt your head. Um, but yeah, this one is finished. Um, drill quality on this one was not as good as I've had um, from the likes of fan cells. There was a few, quite a few more that had bits on that had to go. Um, but I think the main thing I didn't like about this one was that it had training wheels around the, so the symbols. So it had circles around them. Um, in fact, you can see it here. So on the key, Oh, focus. On the key, each symbol had a black circle around it. Um, so I do find that on the likes of, I'm not even sure if you can see it, but you can definitely see it in the light, um, in real life. But you do get the odd glimpse of that black circle, especially around the lighter parts, um, depending on the angle. And, you know, I'm pretty good at placing stuff in the middle. But I found that some of them, just because of the shape of the diamonds, doesn't matter how much you nudge them about, you can't cover that circle. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing. Um, having said that, ignore those two, um, because they're for a painting I'm currently working on. But you do get loads of diamonds left. So there is plenty. There's a few that show showing signs of static. Um, but they didn't cause a problem when I was actually painting. But you've got loads of of all the colours left. They're also from this one. Um, I've got them left and this one on the end is from this one. I've got loads of it left. Um, I wanted to show you guys what it was like before I de-kitted it. Um, so I've sort of started using the remaining pots for my next painting. Um, but yeah loads of the colours left just not too happy with the quality of the drills then definitely not the worst I've seen and they weren't awful there was just quite a few more that I threw away than I have been doing I think my biggest disappointment is the training wheels and um, the circles around the symbols I think if they ditch those um, it would have been a lot better but having said that as soon as you step back you can't really see it anyway um, and the image is very striking. Um, I do like the way the image has turned out and the um, colours used to get that image are very good. Um, and quite often it can be the charting and how they chart it that lets down a painting. Um, if they don't use enough colours or they don't use the right colours. Um, it's not quite as vibrant as I would have thought. For example, red-wise, there's no number 666 in here for red um, the brightest red they had I think was 309 um, DMC colours wise it's not quite as true a red as it could have been um, but again having said that when you step back it still does look pretty good so all in all I'm happy um, just wanted to point out a few little things that aren't quite as good as you can sometimes get from other sellers. Um, but yeah, that's my Victoria's Moon Gorilla, Graffiti Gorilla, um, all done. And I thought I'd show you what he looks like. It's been a while till I've got to do this one, but he's done now. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.